All right, so here's some simple cues for the bench press. We're going to go ahead and watch this bench press set up in a super slow motion. So first thing I'm trying to do is establish my grip width. This will take some experimentation. Use the rings on the barbell to create a reference point so that way you're always doing it the same each time. I like my grip a little bit wider, so I've got my index finger on the outer ring there. Um, and ideally, what we'll see later is that that allows my elbows to be at a 90 degree angle, so bent at 90 degrees, when the barbell touches my chest. So it's really most important what happens at the bottom. Now, next thing I'm going to do is what a cue that's called packing the shoulders. So essentially, I'm trying to pull my shoulders down away from my ears and kind of screw them in a little bit so almost like shutting the armpit so let's let's watch this i know this is uh this is in like 0.1 times speed um, but what i'm doing is uh, i'm kind of squeezing the shoulder blades together i'm pulling my actual shoulders away from my ears i'm creating you can see that screw in that shutting of the armpit there and i'm creating tension in my lats almost the feeling of like initiating a lat pull down I'm trying to get that upper back and lat just below the armpit really activated, okay? Um, once that feels tight, I'm going to go ahead and lift off the barbell, off the rack. Um, you'll see that my lower back is off the bench, so I am creating a little bit of an arch. That's just helping the back stay activated. From there, I'm going to lower the bar to my sternum, so like where the rib cage meets the abs. This helps uh, my shoulders stay in a less impinged position. My elbows are still below the barbell, um, if not just slightly out in front. And the optimal leverage is that those elbows will always be tracking under the barbell. Um, there's a little bit of forward and back motion, so we don't have a perfectly side angle here. But if we were to look, that barbell will come a little bit down and forward towards my sternum. You can see here, even with that wide grip, my elbows are probably bent more than 90 degrees. I have really long arms. Sometimes I use a, a pad on my chest to even shorten that range of motion. Um, and then a slight pushback. But... Don't worry too much about the, the forward and the back pushing of the barbell. Just aim for your sternum, and that will kind of happen naturally. Le on the way down, sort of feel like you're leading slightly with the elbows, um, and everything will fall into place. But I'm keeping that back tight. All right, so we'll go ahead and speed this up to real time. So this is in a 10-minute video. Um, I do have a little bit of bouncing going on here. Now I'm asking for help. I should have asked just for a spot. Uh, that was just poor communication on my part. She went ahead and just pulled on that bar. I, I probably could have got it on my own. Um, but it's always good to have a spotter nearby and communicate with the spotter ahead of time. But yeah, that's about it for now.